Welcome to Game Boomers Live. We're here. We're back playing more Black Dahlia. Hello there. We're gonna go solve the. Wait, what are we doing? Solving the mystery. Actually, did Dad? you press new game? No. Okay. Do you have your notes and stuff? Should. Yeah. Yep. I see, Devin. In the last session, we had a list of things to do. Did we? Yes. That was go a guide. Go your notebook. Symbols, runes. I, I legitimately don't recall the last thing we were doing. Neither do I. It's been like a week ever since we played this game. Because all I remember us doing was, uh, you said we, we basically finished the first chapter. We were like on the verge of finishing the first we chapter. Just had, no, we had a shootout with somebody. Yes. Remember that? Yeah, we killed the Nazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was like a, an there actual was a, Nazi. Yeah, there was a dude who, who had like, what are those guns called? Their pistols? Uh, it looked like, uh, it could be a Luger. Yeah, he had a or, Luger. Or, it could know, be like, a Luger or or, uh, or, or a Wal like an old school Walther. Yeah, a Luger, yeah. yeah. Let me just adjust my, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he had a Luger, so. He hawked a Luger. And then, oh yeah, the, the police chief came to our office and was like, what? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, it turns out there's there's currently two cases happening that might be intertwined. And Louis Loft. One of them Let's is the go to Louis Loft. Well, hold on, we, we don't know what's going on here. Okay, fine. Well, I don't. I don't one, know. Either. One of them is the Black Dahlia murders. The other one is investigating a possible like Nazi occult thing. Which uh, and they might be together. Be a, a, Posture check, hydrate, and stretch. All right away. <laughs> oh, he's going in. D D when? Um, looking like Wednesday. I oh, may not on. get my shit done because metal. Louis Loft. Louis Loft was the place. Yeah, everything's gone now, man. Louis Loft was where we went to go meet Louis. Remember, uh, Louis Felcherman or whatever. <laughs> and his place has been trashed because the Nazis got to it. It's been all shot up. It's been a gosh darn oh, mess. Oh, we got his head in a box. Yes, we did. What's in like, the box? What's in the box? Oh, look at this. Random sig symbols on the so wall. So, I'll let you look around the game for a bit until you've kind of exhausted all of your opportunities, and then I'll look at the walkthrough just in case. Uh, yeah, the Ouroboros steak. Human cell cultures turned into meat. They're not like part of anybody, they're just grown from like a thing. I don't know. I'd, pro I'd, I'd feel kind of... I mean, I'd feel... I'd, 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 I might try uh, it, but I don't know if I'd like it. Maybe if it's... My own. <laughs> I don't know if you'll like eating somebody else's though. Yeah. Have you guys found out about who framed Roger Rabbit or the origami killer? The origami killer was in um Heavy Rain, wasn't it? Yes. Jason. 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 Okay, so there's all this occult shit happening. Yes. So uh, someone requested a poll. okay. I'm not sure if this looks like a thing. This looks like part of a puzzle. I'm not really sure how Sean. to. Sean! 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 Um, is there a mod in, in the chat to do the poll? Maybe Shogoth, you're around. Can you do it, please? Are you writing down all the information here? Yeah. Wait, do you only have two pages on your notebook? I guess so. Jesus, what a shitty notebook. Yeah. Paper was scarce back then. <laughs> right, use it all on the wall effort. saying, thanks for the sub. Happy fat anniversary. It's actually been 13 months now since there was that month you weren't streaming, but keep up the hard work. But has it been? Really? That's right, because it was right after I lost my monetization, I vanished for a month. Mm. But I'm back. Thank you. Zach Tech, thanks for the attempt. You know what, man? Um, what? I am just going to uh, ask Wait, you hold on. You haven't seen this before? This is the phase of the moon. I know, I know it's the face of the moon, but instead of, you know, having to waste time writing it down, I'll just... Take a picture of it. You have a phone, don't you? Yeah, yeah I do. I suppose I could do that. <laughs> or I could just ask you in the yeah. guide. Type but... slash poll. I'm not giving you any guide help until you uh, run out of options. I'm letting you actually play the game. You bastard. Dude. You. The TV is, is, is widescreen. At least turn it on your side, you fucking Philistine. Never. Unless I have to do... Well. God. You know what? I can't stand pictures that are taken with the phone straight up. I can't stand movies that are taken with the phone straight up. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? Fuck TikTok. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Dude, hold on, hold on. Here, can you I'm, sh I'm, sh no. I'm putting on Discord. <laughs> I'll hold it to the camera, dude. Oh god. Do you ever should be going to Discord anyways? All right, po post it on Discord. I'm putting in the stream announcements, by the way. <laughs> okay. 
Dave's gonna post that picture in stream <laughs> announcements. Ah! Can you, can you, you post it? Here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, let me hold it to the camera. Fine. Fine. Yeah, I want them to see it. Well, I'll, I'll fuck TikTok. Fuck videos. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> my God, that's like that's like a, a fucking reaction image, dude. <laughs> oh my! Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck you! You look like a, you look like a sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> Factory reject sex doll. Oh my god! Woo all right, here we go. That's all. That's all good. We're all done here. <laughs> yeah, Dave, put it on the Discord if you want to go get it, guys, oh, yeah. and fuck around with it. You have fun. What are we doing here? Uh, you know what? I should probably take another picture of that because it's zoomed in. <laughs> no, no, because there's more symbols, and I'm not uh -huh. sure if they're gonna. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, sir. I don't the know. The alternate day fasting, fast for a full day, eat maintenance or blow the next day. Yeah, see, I've tried to do fasting. I find it hard to, like, keep the, the fast up after about the 18-hour mark. Yeah. I start going insane. Right. Oh. That's more shit. Take a picture of that one, Dave. God's sake. <laughs> I can only imagine how shitty this would have been. I mean, I, I guess you gotta use like a camera, but uh, you know, it wasn't like it was an instant camera. Well, back, uh, well, let's get a Polaroid. I think they want you to draw this stuff like on a piece of paper back in the day. This is horse shit. Okay, let's move on. Oh God, that fucking picture. Fuck I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at it now in Discord. <laughs> oh my he looks god! So angry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's Do you guys like the uh, the background, by the way? All the junk we have in the background. Okay, let's pull this back up and let's pull up the walkthrough just oh. in case we need it. Oh, dude, the, the fucking Outlast walkthrough is still here. Mm. What the hell? These runes look like the ones I found in the bag. Yep. I wish I knew what Penske had been on to. Maybe his case has more to do with mine than I thought. See, I would prefer that. Like, you just have a notebook and it just fills up. Whenever he does oh, it. so like Shenmue style, though. Yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, Uncharted. Uh, uh-oh. Time to take you down. Punky town. Uh, this I got from my mom. She was throwing it out. I took it. Have you had a vision? So that's... So, arrow... Is that an arrow? Looks like it's two lines like this. Well, I, I'm not sure. You know what? Actually, no, it's, you're right. It looks like... Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Wunderbar. Is... Naomi's, um... She has, Naomi has something wrong with her. I don't know what it is. She's not sick, per se, but she's been extremely dizzy all day, and she hasn't been able to, like, get out of bed. Yeah, man, it's good. It kind of sucks, because she called into work today. Yeah, it's been a few times. Yeah. She's just very dizzy, can't get up, and can't, like, do anything, and it's like, Jesus. Could be, uh... No, it's not like once a month. No, it's not like, because it's, it's, it's not her period right now. It could be vertigo. She has the ligma. Hello, hello. Ligma the balls. Vertigo. You and Naomi should go get your blood work for cholesterol and triglycerides. Triglycerides. What are those? If you have to ask, you, you should probably go. But what are they, though? I honestly don't. <laughs> <laughs> amino acids. You gotta go. <laughs> amino acids. <laughs> Adenosine triphosphate. Totally. All glycerate. Hold on, I'm gonna adjust my mic here, guys. Sorry, it's gonna sound pretty bad. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. So your blood is important for not having aneurysms. Yeah, that that would definitely be. Are we gonna have a aneurysm? No. 
Oh, that would be fun. Get them checked. I wouldn't mind an aneurysm. Be something new. It would kill you. The, you can survive aneurysm, can't you? Uh, you can, but the chances are not great. How do I approach reading? Um. By reading. Uh, reading rainbow. <laughs> reading, rainbow. reading rainbow. I'm gonna go. Can I go back to the? No, I can't. What the shit? Well, why do you think that we're having aneurysms? Because I don't have any. I, I never have any kind of dizziness problems. I, I discovered the headache problem from yesterday. Uh, I stayed up. I only had like three hours of sleep, and I just didn't work. And I fucking worked out hard, and I worked in other ways hard, and eventually just started. And I didn't drink. I drank like two cups of coffee and didn't have any water all day yesterday. And I was just like just going hard. And then by the time we hit like the middle of the middle of the afternoon, I was like, "Why do I have a headache?" And why is it getting really fucking bad? <laughs> and I collapsed into bed and I, like slept for like four hours and I felt fine. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Like while, while I was mostly sleeping while you were doing. Um, First he ruins my stinkled at McGinty's and now we've got two dead men on our hands. Your boy's too green. Pearson is more than capable of fielding this investigation. Oh, and why wasn't my office oh, notified? This complaint falls under COI jurisdiction. This is Pearson's case and he had every right to be there. That's what you said about Penske. And you know what happened to Wally? He couldn't cut it, so the FBI Don't should- Don't you bring Walt- Nothing. Jimbo! Uh, how you doing, sport? <laughs> Fuck you, FBI. We'll finish this conversation later. <laughs> no, Deb needs to drink <laughs> more booze. <laughs> It'll loosen you up, see? Uh, Sorry if I got you in a tight spot, sir. Never you mind about that, son. I'm more than capable of handling that grandstander. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk to him about update boss in your case. I'm making some nice inroads on this investigation, sir. I'm sure you are, son. How are you getting along, Jim? I'm fine, sir. I remember the first time I killed a man. It was during the Great War. I'll never forget his eyes. I blew him up with my gun. <laughs> can be a nasty business we're in, Mr. Pearson. Yes, sir. To be fair, um, a lot of times in trench warfare, you would be able to see the people you're killing. What did Winslow mean when he mentioned yeah, Mr. Pearson? I need to lose some weight, fate? guys. That, that, that's the right, obvious problem, yes. That's why he's got a lot of coat. nerve coming in here Sweat telling me how to do yeah. my job. <laughs> it's pretty warm. Yeah, it's quite humid. It's actually well, Never mind about yeah. Winslow. One day, he'll find out that what goes around comes around. It's Walt you wanted to know about. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Mm. Walt on stepped on some toes, and when his behavior became uh, a little uh, overzealous, the FBI called in some favors, and poor Walt soup. was put up before the board. They declared that he was suffering from nervous exhaustion. Oh, yeah. They packed him off Here's to a sanitarium. I don't know if you noticed, dude, but like right before I went to bed during your stream last night, I was... Um, I was I was uh, lubing all the hinges in the house and the doors. If I could, oh, yeah. sir, so that people I'd, wouldn't be like, uh, I'd like during to see the stream Mr. anymore. Yeah. Case files. Well, I, I believe there's a yeah, connection a between part. this case of mine and the matter he was investigating. It troubles me to hear you say that, Mr. Pearson. Walt was asked to step down from a case that had no bearing whatsoever on our national security. He countermanded direct orders by refusing to do so, and all on account of a bunch of superstitious nonsense. Now, what possible connection could there be between his mumbo-jumbo and your investigation? I, I know it sounds like a lot of nonsense well, to us, dude. sir, but I think this Brotherhood of Thule believes in it. They've organized themselves around it, in fact. Point well taken. Unfortunately, I don't have the Penske files. The FBI confiscated them, claimed that Walt overstepped COI bounds and interfered in their jurisdiction. Yes. Hoover's men won that round, I'm afraid. God, Hoover was such a piece of shit. Perhaps if you were to ask Mr. Winslow, he could make them available. He hates us, obviously. Yeah. Mr. Winslow. Yeah, he's all—he's all—he's all smiles and friendliness at first, and then he—he like, he turns out he's like he's just a massive backstabber. Okay, so whereabouts are we? Sullivan's yeah, office. Black Dahlia. Sullivan's office is a place to be. See. Yeah, I'm gonna try and find out where we are. Mr. Pensky, there's somewhere you. Oh, FBI office. 
marry, fuck, kill it. I'd probably marry ATF, fuck FBI, and kill it. Jimbo! <laughs> they, what brings you game. here, sport? I was hoping you could give me a little Were information. Just getting with the secretary? Sure, Clearly. anything to help a fellow agent. Yeah, run along, candy darling. Oh my mm. fucking god. Wow. Well, it was the 40s. Dude, the, dude the 40s were a great time. You're not still sore at me for this morning. Dev. Yeah, I think war. you're doing a fine job. We still I'm fine with that. The 50s were great. Listen, if yeah, we get sure. to molest just women in public great. again, I'm just fine great. with the world war. Uh, say, uh, can I get you anything? A smoke, perhaps. One no, day I'm thanks. Away from I don't you. Like <laughs> smoke. Oh, but have you ever tried? So we're gonna one clip of these? that and fucking spread it around. They're imported straight from Turkey. Uh, Finest cigarettes I've ever tasted. It's a joke, you fucks. It's a joke. Have you fellas identified the okay, man I shot? One world war we're still up. working on that. <laughs> My best guess is that he was working for the mob, even though he was carrying an SS issue gun. Yes, well, we did put an inquiry in with the German consulate. They disavowed all knowledge of him. It's to be expected, isn't it? Well, yes, I'm I suppose so. But <laughs> Louis did have ties to the mob. It stands to reason that his past might finally catch up to him. Well, Louis hadn't worked for the mob for years, but he was working as a messenger for this German brotherhood. Oh, really? And what brotherhood would that be? An outfit that calls itself the Brotherhood of Thule. That's what I've been investigating. Oh, you don't say. Well, my years of experience with the Bureau tell me that this was a mob hit. But if you really think that there's something to this brotherhood thing... Yes, I do. His head looks well, so Well, then squashed. Dick Winslow's not the type of man to leave any stone unturned. <laughs> Rach, yeah, that's like Rachel's I'll make sure shit. Yeah, our, our TV stretches it. I, I fixed it for your for you guys' Oh, feed, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for but us, it looks so he fucking looks like strange. A, it looks like he has a pumpkin head. Yeah. Dude, that's a movie we gotta watch is Pumpkin Head. I understand. The Bureau has sure. Mr. Penske's case Wait. files. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have pumpkin them right head. here in my safe. Why do you ask? I'd like to get a look at them. <laughs> oh, geez, I'm sorry, Jimbo. I can't open them up without a direct order from my superiors. It's oh. completely out of my hands, I'm afraid. Now, if it were up to me, I'd hand them right over to you. There's no way I can get a look at them? If it were only up to me... No, oh, there's nothing in there anyway. Sport, really, just a lot of nonsense. He went completely batty there at the end. He's hiding something. Not a lot of time to talk right now, sports. Could you come back round again Dick. later? Sure thing, Dick. <laughs> oh, so the characters actually do have, like, uh, I have nothing else to say, but here's a jokey thing. I guess so. Because we, we couldn't find them in, uh, in, in the previous episode. We were, like, clicking on them, but we weren't getting them. <laughs> okay, well, that's not how you do it. <laughs> this is exactly how I do everything. Click on everything that moves or not. Okay, hold on. I feel like I've exhausted my options here. Oh shit, hold on. I made a mistake. That or I have to come back when he's okay. not around. Okay, Louis Loft. Not a lot of time to talk right now, sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so here we are. I know where we are. Talk to Detective Murloff. He wakes up from your nightmare, and you can read the newspaper on your desk, and that's where we end it. Okay. Let's see. I'll let you explore, but there is one puzzle you can do right now. Oh, yeah? Yep. Ba -ba -da. See, each of, each of these big puzzles, the game, like, they're so esoteric. The game is like... Oh, here, there's the rain. The game is like, solve the puzzle, and the, like, the puzzle for any normal human will take like five hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Russ, can you go? Uh, World map. Well, I just went to the FBI office. Sullivan's office I, I thought was done. Louis, uh, Louis Loft and my office. Okay, that's all you have. It. Wait, is that a Bigley's? Yeah, Bigley's chewable gum. Delicious. Bigley is chewable rubber. All right, so. Good afternoon, Mr. Pearson. Oh, what does he have to say for his jokey one? Nothing. He's already said everything he's needing to say. Oh, he doesn't have a I have nothing to say dialogue? The other guy did? No, because I have an arrow on it. Oh, okay. The arrow is human, Dev. Okay, so. Did you find the wooden lockbox? 
in Louis' loft? No, I don't think I did. Let's go back to Louis' loft then. In one of these types of games, one of the Phantasmore games, Dave commented he had a shitty Chrono Trigger fanfic. Oh no, that's me. I have the shitty yeah, Chrono Trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dev, Dev wrote a shitty Chrono Trigger. And thing. we talked about it on the stream already, and it's going to remain buried. So, <laughs> open up your inventory. <laughs> I've already shared it on Discord. <laughs> you fuck. Open up your inventory. <laughs> Nope, you don't have it. it looks like. I have a lockbox. No. Okay. Walk forward and you will hear a creaking noise. So walk forward. Oh, so like right behind me. Yeah. Turn around and look down to find the lockbox in the creek. Can you look down? Can you like grab the thing and move it downwards? Like look, look down? No. Okay. Hold on. It's hidden beneath the loose floorboards. Check out the floorboards. Is there a floorboard to click on? Well, don't just click, like aim. See, I can't, I can't force it down any more than that. Okay. Well. What am I gonna do? Uh, is that the floorboard? No. I don't rightly know, sir. So I just go. You wanna go back? Okay. When you can access something, what does it look like? It's an arrow. It's right well, an arrow is to move the screen. No arrow. No arrow is also also to look at okay. something. Well then. See. Okay. Well, move again. Bottom right of the screen. Probably when you're in the other position. Apparently. What a load of poopy doop. Cod swallop. This is so dumb. I don't, see, I don't see it either. You'd think that... That's not it, is it? No. No, because it it's only giving me the option to go back. Go back to Wait, the rooms. Okay, didn't... No, you grabbed something out, of, out from a floorboard. I remember you doing it. Like, you just did it. Yeah, lockbox. There it is. You didn't know us before? Okay. So, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Don't look at the instructions, but you, you can solve this puzzle right now. You can rotate it, and you can push various things on it. Hey, I think you can rotate it. I did this back in the 90s, dude. And honestly, unless either Dave or I tell people, it's not possible to link it to me. Just because it's been so long and there's been oh, so see? many different nicknames. That actually stayed in this time. Would you drink Pelk, Pepsi milk on a roach, rat couch? No. No. Why? <laughs> uh, coffee tonight. I'm staying up late. Are you just clicking random shit? No. Is there like a method to your madness? Yeah, it's called try shit until it works. That's what I was meant. You just click random shit. Well, no, there, there is. What's the method? Just gotta keep trying stuff. Well, once you've given up, I can tell you the answer. Pictured here is Dave looking for the G spot. <laughs> G spot rocks. G spot. <laughs> Dave finally gets laid with a woman for the first time, and she like shyly spreads her legs, and it's just like a giant puzzle. <laughs> Dave's like, ah! 
Gotta poke all these things and pull this and twist this and oh god. <laughs> Seems about right. <laughs> oh, hello. Hydrate, Dave. Fine. Oh. Hmm. All right. Yo, this shit is impossible. I have the steps up right now, and it does look a little bit much convoluted eh? yeah like it's not bad i i i understand I mean, like, like real there are real boxes like there's like a bunch of different parts that all like slide around yeah yeah anyway this is based on real puzzles it's a shenmue anime oh my god i didn't see it no Exactly. Have you given up yet? <laughs> oh, I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge. What? I was on the road. Can you do anything? Okay. Oh shoot. I checked out the Ripper playthrough and I wasn't impressed. The set design felt extremely ghetto slash low rent even <coughs> in the cyberpunk world. I think it's the most stuff in the world. There we go. Listen, I really enjoyed us playing Ripper though. That was fun. Okay. Um, Are you done? Okay, get out of here. Just exit. So, so the puzzle resets, hopefully. Okay, inventory. Okay. Rotate the left lamp clockwise. So that was right. Push in the window on the left side. Push the chimney down. Okay, did that. Slide the gate on the left side up. Spin the water wheel up so the base of the, of the house retracts. It didn't. Yeah, I like kind of fucked with it a bit. What, did you fuck with it already? No, last time. Did, well, did, where, where did it fuck with it? Where, the base of the house didn't retract. So, okay. There he is, okay. Okay. Well, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Just, just in case. Mm -hmm. No, that was right. Yeah, that was right. Slide the gate on the left side back down. Okay. <laughs> Pull the chimney back up. Spin the water wheel down to the window on the left side comes back out. Okay. Rotate the left lamp anti-clockwise. <laughs> anti-clockwise. Slide the, bottom, the, the front bottom left corner to the house left. I think that's that, yeah. Open the door fully. Slide the front door slightly to the left. Lift up the small rune beneath the front door. Oh, so I was really close. Yeah. And you get a key and a ring. Da 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 da. What does the ring do? Use yeah, Dan Man, Shenmue has a lot in common with games like this. Though it also had a lot more NPCs, but it also had like a lot of like examining the environment slowly and figuring out things. Yeah, obviously you're gonna use the key here. Not so bad. Eh? Do you have to do something or? You do. You see like this part is very Shenmue, making you actually like do this shit.
Oh, meat, meat doesn't work on this. Do you push it in some more? Yeah. Maybe not. Dude, I love Shenmu as well. Maybe this key doesn't go here. Sure, man. Because that that just seems pretty. It seems pretty. No, this seems like the kind of thing that you that you'd code in to be like, ha ha. I think a sausage. Oh no! Wait, you can use the key, but you have to use the um, you have to use the. Come back. Uh, go zoom out. You have to use this shit to know how to put the key in. Oh, g this. Yeah. Oh. Just look up. Okay. That is how you. De that's how you put the key in. The lunar phases. So it looks like look like it goes in, and then what is that? Left. Clock counterclockwise. I mean. I, I don't know. So you like you you turn left once and then and then right three times. I guess. Game. <laughs> I regret everything. Let me just tell you, or you want to actually try it? <laughs> I gotta look it up. I'm gonna forget though. Thank you for the sub, Lord Seranos. Thank you. Regarding the Shenmu anime, I definitely gotta look it up. Because I, I would watch the shit out of that. I have a feeling Shenmue would be better, better as a story. Like, as a show, I mean. Yeah. Than, well, than a game. That's exactly. Yeah, just just tell me. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, pull, pull out. You have, to, you have to come at this fresh. Okay. Use the key. Push the key in. Okay. Key in. Then turn left. Pull key out. Okay. Turn right twice. Push key in. Turn left, pull key out. That's so dumb. <laughs> well, it tells you that. It on looks the like a tooth. No wonder why Louie kept it locked up. Yes, Brick Muppet. I'm hoping so. Yeah, Dad, you have this do a sip so I can upload it. <laughs> Take care of business. Okay, what the hell is this thing? What have okay, we Hotel here? Cleveland. The Matchbook. Hotel Cleveland, huh? Can you open it? Oh. Mulhaven. Hmm. Where have you heard that name before? It's one of those... It's one of the, fam the Thula Society families. Let's see, hold on. Hotel Cleveland. There we go. This says the Cleveland Show. Welcome to the Mole Haven. No, sorry, the Cl Hotel Cleveland. Yep, this is the this only is game nice ever hotel, made in it? Ohio. This is the only thing ever made set in Ohio. <laughs> Come on, sir. Hey, buddy, what's up? He looks really thrilled. Yeah. Also, where the fuck is Dennis Hopper? <laughs> yeah, we're on Act Two of this game. We haven't seen any Dennis Hopper yet. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Do you have anyone named uh, Mulehaven staying here? That's Mulhaven, sir, and yes, I should think that the gentleman is staying here. You seem pretty certain of that. But of course, sir, Mr. Mulhaven is merely one of our best guests. Mm. I'm one very snooty. Sir. Well, yes, yeah, front desk. How are you this evening, Mrs. Hathaway? Yes, of course, I'll have that delivered straight away. Yeah, Dennis Hopper is supposed to be in this. Yes, Dennis Please Hopper stars in this, Mrs. apparently. Hathaway I think that was, that was a lie. And for God's <laughs> sake, man, button that uniform. <laughs> yes, sir. Right away, sir. It's a selling point. It's like, come May on. I be of further assistance, sir? Ask if Mulhaven is in. Is Mr. Mulhaven in, though? He is checked in now, if that's what you mean, sir. Uh, you know, I bet. I believe, that however, that he is not Mulhaven. presently in his so? room. Yeah, because Mulhaven seems to be kind of like the, the ringleader. Yeah. So tell me about this Mulhaven fellow. He uh, seems to be a big shot around here. Mr. Mulhaven is an esteemed guest here, sir. He maintains his own suite. He lives huh? here? No, sir, but he travels on business from Chicago. Like he's related, 
He keeps <laughs> the same suite reserved. It says nephew. Great Scott. Christopher Lloyd got him as well. What room is Mr. Mulder <laughs> been staying in? No, no, I'm not in the game. I can't at the hotel. <laughs> Uh, bribe him, yeah. Come on. Look at pal. I just need to have a talk with the guy. So, either you take me for a fool or a gossip. I am neither. Now be off with you. I won't have another word of it. You, can you hug him too, or no? Nope. Look on him. Look on him. Nope. You dick. Okay. We gotta figure out what to do. I have the feeling that neither of those will work. Yeah. Who are we calling now? Nobody, because there's nothing there. Hold on. You said the Mulhaven was in the list of names? Uh, pull, pull out your list again. Yeah, true. Okay. I'm not there. I'm not there either. It's it's in your inventory. Um, is it case file, maybe? Is it the black? No, it's blacklist. Yes, just find okay. Mulhaven. So it's... COL002111. We gotta figure out his. Oh, what was the code to get phone numbers or the case numbers? I don't remember anymore. Think about it. Think about it. Oh, no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It was plus. No, it was minus. Plus one, minus one, zero, was it? So C O L is the first is the first three, right? Yeah. And then it would be zero three two. Is that what it would be? Zero three two. Is it? Maybe it's not. C O L and zero three two. Nope. Doesn't work. Um it might be zero one two. Maybe. Yeah, man, everything's going good. You subtract the pairs, not add them. You sure? So it would be like zero, one, zero then? Hold on. Well, zero minus zero is zero. It was what, two and one? Maybe we're marking up the wrong tree here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But rang. So that was somebody's number, but they didn't answer. Okay. Um, hold on. What are we trying to do here? Are we trying to, are we trying to call Mulhaven? Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm well, that sure. was his number, and he didn't answer, so what else can we do? Um... Talk to the broad. Can we try and like go upstairs? Just just go up the. Will will will, will, will Mister Concierge even let us? Well, the problem is we don't know we don't know what floor is staying on. And the game won't let us even try it. Okay. Nope. Like there's no way it's been soft. That range will be picking up. That's Holy really shit. coming down. Yeah. God so don't, yeah. Don't close the okay. Okay. So um, Dave and I did some work outside today, <laughs> and like so we, we we were doing some work in the garden out back, and what ends up happening, guys. Is like it's not it's like raining a little bit, but it's not a big deal. We go out there, it starts fucking pouring like crazy, and then as soon as we finish, the rain stops, and it's like, oh, yeah. Thanks. It wasn't immediately after; it was a few minutes after. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, where else can we go? Sure. Back to the FBI. Talk to the FBI guy. Jimbo, what brings you here, sport? How's it going, Dick? Oh, aces, Jimbo. Just aces. Just aces. This guy's, this guy's gonna die in like 10 years from lung cancer. Jesus. What a fucking... Ask about Mulhaven. Oh, here we go. Does the Bureau have any information on a man named Mulhaven? Why do you need to know? I think he might be in a fix with some Nazis. Uh, look, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but uh, we've had our eyes on him for some time now. Oh. Joseph Mulhaven is the type of man who'll play both sides of the fence until he's certain which side will come out ahead. For the past year, he's been campaigning tirelessly in Chicago on isolationist grounds, but his companies have been secretly gearing up for the war effort. Well, he stands to clean up if America joins the war in Europe. Would playing both sides of the fence include making deals with the Nazis? 
and it wouldn't be out of the question. But for all of Mulhaven's sins, he doesn't seem like someone who'd be very likely to sell out to the Nazis. Quite frankly, I don't think he has a stomach for espionage. Hmm. Okay, so. Not a lot of time to talk right now. Spurt. Spurt. All right, so that's that. Um, maybe, maybe what's her name? Uh, the guy, in our, yeah, or what's his? Oh, I don't know. Sullivan's our boss. Yeah, Sullivan. Maybe he has he has some information on Mulhaven. These are very 1940s names, aren't they? <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Yeah, Pearson. It's not quite a movie. Do Sorry. we have any information on a man named Mulhaven? Mulhaven? What's he got to do with this mess? That's what I'm trying to uncover, sir. Mm. Well, there's not an awful lot I can tell you. He's an industrialist from Chicago. He has a few contracts with the War Department. I believe he has some political aspirations. Apart from that, I know very little about the man. That doesn't help, uh, does it? I've never actually seen Jimmy Neutron, the movie or the show. <laughs> really? I watched the show. I didn't, Honestly, I didn't like, have I, the channel, the and thing. then I didn't have any interest. Hold on. I didn't watch it because I liked it. I watched it because I was doing my homework, and I left YTV on. Mm. And, like, the few times I actually did homework. And I left it on, and when I was done, I looked up, and... This was just... Yeah. And Jimmy Neutron was on. I was like, oh, either Jimmy Neutron or Hey Arnold would be on. One of the two. Fair enough. So where are we going now? <coughs> I'm just checking every possible location. I mean, I think this is all... This is all that's at his flat, yeah. His, his loft... Yeah. Would you want to live in a loft apartment? Um. Would you say anything? I would want to. No. To I would want to do some maintenance to it. Yeah. Because the problem, with, especially with lofts, is like there's an exposed brick. Exposed bricks can, uh, like Teleponic has mentioned, uh, about being invaded by an army of spiders. Yeah. You can get a lot of spiders in. in You'd have to like area. basically have a regular wall and then just put brick on the inside. Um, or like have a like faux brick or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because because the insula like exposed brick, it's 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 exposed. Yes. You know, your insulation levels shit. So you'd have to yeah. have something in between. You have to have like brick insulation brick basically. Yeah. Um. Okay. Want me to tell you what to do? I looked it up. Yeah. Take it back to the matchbox. Sorry, the um. Matchbook. Mm -hmm. Look on the back of it. GB5637. There's a phone number for you. Okay. GB5637. Klondike 5. The Klondike. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Ah. A trap. <laughs> I don't even remember what I do last week. I don't even remember the last time I had one of those bloody things. Joe Cleveland, how may I help you? Jones, well, this is Mr. Mulhaven. Oh, sir, I hadn't seen you come in. Are you feeling all right? You don't sound like yourself. <coughs> Never mind how I sound. Where's my blasted newspaper? It hasn't been delivered. <coughs> no, it hasn't. What's the matter with you people? I'm sorry, sir. I'll have it sent up straight away. Idiot. Doesn't he know this guy talk? Mr. Mulhaven needs a paper delivered to his suite. Weren't you to deliver it earlier? Oh, I did. Well, he didn't receive it. Now hop to it. <laughs> How convenient. I delivered the paper. Lousy paper. 23. Oh, uh, 23. Yep, that just that just worked. <laughs> that just fucking worked, dude. Mr. Mulhaven. Oh, shopping. Yeah, it's it's pretty boring. Your paper, sir. Mr. Mulhaven. Lousy cheapskate can't spare a nickel. Hello, tip. Johnny. Rough day. Uh, you said it, Mrs. Graham. Housekeeping. Maid service. Back before like every single every single housekeeping staff was like from some other country. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern Europe or, or Latin America. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like, every time I've gone down south to, to stay at a hotel, it's it's always been it's like it's it's basically like the stereotypes of the like, the Latin housekeepers. Can you do what was your name? Consuela? Cons no. 
No, I want lemon pledge. No, it leave a film. All right, you gotta figure what to do here, Dave. That's Mallhaven's room, 23G. 23G, huh? Gee, I'm not sure. Oh. You left. Well, I didn't know any better. Oh, God. We gotta go. Okay, good. They bring you back up here. It's like, please don't just, <laughs> don't well, just lock us I, out I of here. I don't really know what to do here, Dev. Uh, maybe I'll use that signet ring I found. Maybe that'll do. Look around a bit, Dave. What the fuck is, is happening right now in the hallway? Christ. You, use your brain. <laughs> My brain? My brain is on strike. Look. White man can't jump. <laughs> yeah. So what can you do to get that, Dave? Well, I could use something. Think about it, Dave. Do I have a hook? Do I have a book? Dave. 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 What? I can't. What is in the hallway with you right now? The newspaper. And? My butthole. And? And me. Oh my god. I can't believe you can't get this. But Dev, I can't use the table. Dave, Dave. <laughs> what is currently about waist high and has wheels in the newspaper right now? Not the newspaper, in the, in the hallway right now. That bitch's cart? It's right fucking I there, can't you do clown. That poor, I can't do that to the poor girl. <sighs> Thanks, Arito. Thank you for the sub. Yes. Even I wouldn't be able to get this. <laughs> so you just steal her cart. Well, that wasn't very... That's not very ethical. See, Dev, I, I can't think like that. I, uh, I just... Okay, search her cart. Search her cart? Oh, boy, a whole fork. Just for me. Starting silver. For some reason, our hero pilfers the silverware. So he can... Yeah, he's, he's going to slip the lock. Stand on Dev's abs. Um, Naomi likes Sabrina, but not Riverdale. I, did, I tried Riverdale. to watch Riverdale. I didn't like it. Yeah, I, I watched the first season. Uh, I was a few episodes in the second season. I just went, oh. this is trash. Okay, how the hell can that handle the weight? Oh, look at me. You broke it into his fucking room, dude. It's not just his room. It's his penthouse suite. Look around. Ooh, it's very Hellenic. Scratch your ass it's very with the Hellenistic. And put it back. Yeah. Oh, the, I, I wasn't that far off with the ring. It seems obvious, right? It's the same rune. Fits right there. Yeah. It's gotta be it, see? Oh, Rambo. Oh, that is kind of strange. Spoilers. Wait, what happened? Somebody's gonna... He's just literal, dressed up as a Nazi. Literal Nazi. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. If you were on an undercover, why would you be dressed like that? It's in 1941. America, America has, a, I, I would imagine, is on the verge of declaring war. Yeah, America hasn't entered the war yet. But they're not happy with the Nazis. No, they're not. So I guess, it, I guess, like if the, if there were Nazi officers here on a diplomatic mission. It's so fake. Let's form check! Let's form check! Okay, Jesus. Wait. He just cosplay. Is he a secret Nazi? Is he like a Nazi? Maybe he's brainwashed? He's a Nazi spy. And maybe maybe he's the Nazi after all. And he's just one of those people. What's inside? The Ace of Hearts. Please to inform you that the first shipment left on morning convoy. Stop. Second shipment due to the hour. Stop. Wait your instructions on procedure for storage. Next time on my farms. Russell. Cleveland Alifax. 128. Wait. Mm -hmm. U.S. Telegraph Corporation Service. Yep, search everything in here. The real Nazis are the friends you made along the way. Oh. Yeah, okay. Just like gambling stuff, you know? Money? A letter? Yeah, Mr. Mulhaven. We are looking f We are also looking forward to seeing you again next week. 
Girls Jesus, just this sucks. Love huh? the gifts that you brought with you last time and miss their <laughs> uncle. It's like Reagan as this movie sound it, signed it. <laughs> Ronald Reagan signed it. I think it's Flanagan, but yeah. <laughs> they had to go. You know, you know sometimes they'll give you an option to read something and they'll yeah. just put it in plain text. Not this time, eh? Oh, well. Orphanage. Oh. Okay. Give me your wad. What's in the wallet? The raven. Oh, the Raven Room. Invited to attend the gala premiere of the Raven Room. November 29th, yeah, so, so you're Okay, so it's after Pearl Harbor. So they have joined the war. Have they won as Pearl Harbor? Or no, it's not. No, it's not. It's December 7th, 1941. It's just before. Yeah. It's just, 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 just before, before Pearl, yeah, Pearl Harbor. Like, yeah. Just, just before. Location. Okay, so wait. There's no signature on it. They don't need a signature. Yeah, so like they're just just. Oh, wait, on the hold verge. on. Can you take that and add your signature to it, and then go into the Raven Room? Well, clearly, it's they're not giving you that option. They're not letting you take it. No. S Scrumps. Scrump. Dude, let's go to Scrumpies. No, no, dude, it's a condom. It's Scrumpies pro prophylactic. Oh my god. Yeah, just stop his telegram. Scrump doesn't vernacular, need this. Yeah. He only fucks traps. It just it, it means a, a, a yeah, it is telegram period, vernacular, yeah. yeah. Some are special of 40 beach girls. Hussies Incorporated. <laughs> Hussies Incorporated. Sexy, fashionable, smoking babes. Man's book. The man's book. Helpless nudes in the madman's pit of horror. Soft one streaks will trap you, Americana spine. <laughs> oh my Easy God. Easy sex, the scourge of the 40s. Oh my God. Rogue for men. The wanton wish of Wesley Wicks. <laughs> Wellesley Wicks. This is so Dude, the 40s were awesome. <laughs> so. But it's a dog collar or a, like a sex collar? I have no idea. Also, that looks like a camera. Yeah. Like a stealth camera of the 1940s. Oh. Mr. Mulhaven, credit Hotel purchases. Bob. Two bottles. Seven okay. bottles, two bottles, one bottle, all the booze. Two seven two one two two six. Dude, 140 bucks for all that shit? <laughs> well, 1940s money, yeah. 1940s money. Hey, Michelle. You. Let's see. Oh, yeah. One two two six. Okay. Two seven two one two two six. Trevor yeah. C. Michaels. Meet the Galaxy. I haven't uh, opened that on stream yet, but I did receive it. And yes, oh. two accidentally shipped. I don't know how you didn't manage that. But thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, okay. Look inside the small urn next to the bed. The urn? The small urn and next to the bed. The urn. There's like a little bar in here. Oh, it is a suite. It's pretty sweet. I agree. ba da ba ba da ba Nothing, nothing doing here. Posture check. Oh. $100 US in the 40s is worth $2,000 today. It's worth about 5,000 Canadian. Hmm. Yeah. See? See? Look in the urn. What does the urn say? I can, another, another key? I thought I'd come in handy if I need to get back in. Oh, it's a key to Mulhaven's room. Oh, hide, dude, hide. Dude, he's under the bed. Moron. Yep. Wow. The worst possible spot. Gones. Hide, Gones. What's going on here? You said you wouldn't disturb anything. Hans. And we shot, my dear. Oh, they're Germans. You said yep. you'd hurry right in and right out. I'll lose my job if anyone finds me here. Oh, something's up, guys. Something's up your butt. Okay, we gotta go look at what he was looking at. He was concerned with the urn. Tell you what a Grecian earns. Deadly squat. 
I oh. wonder what that German's game is. He took the message, whatever it was, and left this picture. Blackmail? Maybe. That doesn't look like Das Hopper, by the way. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Did you put it in your inventory? Well, probably did automatically. Photo from 23G. Can we examine it, or...? Here's a sample of my latest photog photographic essay. To receive the negative, meet me at the usual time and place. It is blackmail. Yeah, well. Is there anything else to look in the room, or is this it? It's probably here. It's probably the Raven room. Maybe. Let's see now. Is there a telephone? I need to use the telephone. <laughs> you just call again. Send me my paper, goddammit. <laughs> just have him constantly yeah. ship up papers. Yeah. It's like <laughs> half the day circulation goes. This guy's. That'd be a great way to fuck with him. <laughs> he just comes back in and there's like 500 papers sitting there. <laughs> it's like. It's like this wall of paper just assaults him as he opens it. It's like a flood of paper, of mm -hmm. newspapers filling out in the hallway. <laughs> We're getting close to break. Another five minutes or so. Well, uh, I don't really think there's anyone else to go. Next with. place to go is Sullivan's and tell him everything you you Sullivan's you've... bar. Sullivan's bar. It sounds more like a bar. Tell him everything, dude. I mean, if they're Irish, it sounds like a bar. Ah. Good afternoon, Mr. Pearson. Are you aware of any German nationals in town? Well, actually, there is one. A man named Wilhelm von Hess. Our men in Washington have had their eyes on him for a long time now. We have no idea what he's doing in Cleveland, but we're sure as hell he's not in town for the Great Lakes Expo, as he claims. Why don't we just ship him back where he belongs? Now, there's the rub. He's here on a diplomatic mission. Mm -hmm. Even though our men have long suspected him of spying, we can't deport him without concrete proof. Without risking an international incident, and relations between our country and Germany are touchy enough as it is. Well, I think the man that I shot could be connected to Von Hess. Von Hess may even be responsible for Fisher's death, although Detective Marillow doesn't seem to think so. You might be able to pin enough on him there to get him shipped off. If we can make the connection stick, you can be sure that's the first thing we'll do. Time for the photo. Do you have any guesses as to where this might have been taken? Looks like your man was caught in a rather compromising position. There's only one place that a businessman of Mulhaven stature would go to. It's a place called Flanagan's on the east it's not side. man on man. How'd you come across that photo? Von Hess has been using it to blackmail Mulhaven. Can you prove that? I believe so, sir. Wonderful. That is just what we need to have Von Hess packed off. Uh, uh, Mr. Sullivan, uh, if you could, I'd like you to hold off on that for now. At least until I can find out why Von Hess is blackmailing Mulhaven. Very well, Mr. Pearson. This is your investigation. I'll leave it to your discretion. Thank you, sir. Mm. Master Gregor just subbed. Thank you. Sup, oh, Devo Guten. Don't you say those fucking German Nazi words in this chat room. Guten Abend, Dave. Don't you, how was your weekend? Chat. Did you enjoy Soygon's stream? Yes. I didn't see it, but, I mean, yeah. we, okay. we got some stuff done today, so that was all so good. So now we have some things to do, but... You want to take, take the break now? Let's take a break. Plant that stamp there, My old Dave. pal, Five Finger Sausage. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back for more Black Dahlia.